They're often regarded as a menace and something that wouldn't be welcome in your garden. But now, scientists are hoping that snails can teach them a few new tricks about one of nature's oldest secrets. You may have heard in the media that some people were um, affected by appetite suppressants over in the United States a few years back and they affect uh, serotonin levels in the body. And uh, more recently, people are taking anti-anxiety medications. They're called SSRIs. They're serotonin modulators in the brain. And uh, these uh, serotonin medications, while very useful, can cause heart disease in people. And in snails, serotonin is a compound that they use all the time to stimulate the heart. So how does the snail's heart manage to deal with serotonin? It's a very good question, I and mean, that's one of the things we're trying to find out, why it is that the snail seems to survive perfectly happily with high levels of serotonin in its system, but in humans, uh, it kills us. So uh, this is one of the reasons I want to use this animal, because serotonin is a normal chemical mediator in the heart of the snail, and it's something that causes disease in us. The heart of a snail is strangely similar to a human heart, but serotonin has little effect on it. Why is this so? Is there something that humans can learn from this? It's these questions that Dr. Michelle Gibson from La Trobe University's School of Pharmacy and Applied Science hopes to answer. If you put something like serotonin on the heart, uh, because that stimulates the heart, you would expect these contractions to get bigger and perhaps get closer together. And how does that, would that affect a human heart if It would do the same used? thing in a human heart. It would make the heart rate go faster and it would make the contractions bigger. So you'd feel your heart pumping more quickly and more strongly, a bit like when you do exercise. So here you can see the heart is beating regularly um, and nice regular amplitude, the heights are the same and nice, nice regular frequency. Here you can see we've added some serotonin to the heart and now the forces are much higher. The heart rate hasn't changed but certainly the forces got bigger. So the effects of serotonin on a snail's heart would be a good way to mimic the effects that serotonin would have on a human heart? Absolutely. Uh, you want to look at uh, the, the effect of the drug on the snail heart and characterise those properties and hopefully see the same patterns that you will see in something like a rat heart which would mimic a mammalian heart and a human heart. They should have the same, th have the same effects. Uh, you'll change heart rate and you'll change the strength of contraction. Uh, the way the heart works in the snail is very similar to the way it works in a human and so we should be able to compare the results very easily. So far research has been encouraging and Dr Gibson has recently presented her findings to the Australian Health and Medical Research Congress in Brisbane. In the future, the secret of how a snail copes with serotonin could have real benefits to the lives of countless people. John, Paul, George and Ringo? That's right. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs>